Chewing Boy by Hiko is a puzzle platformer that's here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And it's actually got quite a lot of bubblegum. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show two lovely people. Today's game is called Chewing Boy and it's by a developer called Hiko. Let's give it a look. So, this is a puzzle platformer. We are on the beautiful title screen. Look at that lovely animation. Look at that lovely art style. I'm loving it already. Yes, the graphics in this are very cute, very well animated, very charming. Let's give it a look. So. This is a puzzle platformer. You're best off using a controller, so I'm going to get my controller. And there are 32 levels of puzzle platform in action. Now, I managed to get to level 25, then I got stuck. I went into the cart and cheated the level, and then I got stuck on level 26. So the later stages of this game are pretty tricky. But I can show you some of the earlier stuff and talk you through it. That's what this is all about, right? Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. So, we're on level 1. Um, yes, we can press Z or the um, O key, the circle key. We can press that to jump. This is a platformer. Um, yes, we're leaving our house here. I'm um, loving all these telephone, telegraph wires. Telephone wires, telegraph wires. You know, phone wires. Very nice. I'm going to be taking a long time in this game if I have to say every little thing that I like. Look at that cityscape. Look at them clouds. Anyway, that's level one. Really easy. Right, here we go. Level two. First proper level here. Uh, we've got a little vending machine here. Yes, this is very Japanese, this game, which is nice. So, we've got a little bit of platforming to do. You might be wondering, why is this called Chewing Boy? This has got nothing to do with chewing or bubble gum. Well, on level three, we're introduced to our chewing gum. Yes, um, we've got some chewing gum here. We can um, press X to um, decide where we're going to spit our chewing gum. And then we can press up and down to aim, like an artillery game. And then we can press X again to throw it, and then we can climb on our chewing gum, yes. This is kind of a puzzle platformer with artillery game mechanics, which is a really interesting thing to do. Um, very interesting. So, let's carry on, shall we? Lovely transitions between each level. I really like the transitions. Um, yeah, as we get further in, we've got two of the same signs there, just to remind us. As we get further in, the levels become progressively harder. Now, to start with, there's probably quite a few different solutions to the levels. That's not one of them. If you make a mistake, you can see it at the top there, if I hold down the down key, it resets the level. So we can um, do that when we screw up, which we'll probably do a lot. Now, actually, a lot of these early levels, you can beat just by firing down and then climbing up. Later levels, though, do require a certain amount of precision. Therein lies one of the problems, I would say, with this game. But anyway, let's not get onto that just yet. So yeah, there's beautiful graphics, lots of nice sound effects, nice music, very good sound design. This game looks so cool, so cute. Very, um, very nice classic Pico 8 look this game has got. Yeah, I do like this music as well. Each kind of area of the game has got its own theme. So that's nice. Um, oh dear. Should I try that again? Um, each, yeah, each level, the d levels do get harder, and the difficulty curve is. I feel like I might have cheated that one then. The difficulty curve is on the whole pretty good. There's um, a couple of levels which are real difficulty spikes, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Who knows? Puzzle games, difficulty is hard to do, isn't it? Now I managed it that time. Oh, how do I do this level? Let's try it again. Now, here is one of my um, kind of bugbears of this game. One of my criticisms, I would say. Um, I so wish you could just... I wish you could recall the gum somehow, or if you had more than one shot or something. It gets kind of frustrating having to restart the level each time when you make a, a minor screw-up. I mean, it's not too bad... Um, at this um, stage of the game. This um, this stage of the game is pretty straightforward, but later on, um, there are some levels where you need to kind of get two or three shots on point to complete the level, and it can get very repetitive when you're stuck. So yeah, I really wish you could just recall your gum or cancel it or something. 
Also, some slightly strange behaviour, the way these um, gumball things work. They are very sticky. It is extremely easy for your um, bubble gum to get stuck on um, certain parts of the level geometry. That can make it quite frustrating later on, especially when you're trying to get a um, particularly tricky shot. As you can see, just firing down and climbing up, that will put you in good stead for most of the early part of this game. We're underground now. Things are going to start getting a little bit more challenging. So expect to see me dying a lot more. Having said that, these devils are quite straightforward to start with. Don't worry, it will get harder. I've just noticed those um, lovely, um, oh dear. I've just noticed those lovely water drop effects. Very nice. Goes with the um, music to create quite a nice atmosphere, I think you will agree. Um, let's try that again. I think I need to fire the... I think I need to fire the bubble gun. There. Yeah, that worked. I love those um, transitions between levels. So nice. All the spikes in this game. The spikes are very... Uh, what's the word? Keen? I said that. I just totally went through the spikes and didn't get hurt. Yeah, the... Um, the collision detection on the spikes does get quite a lot of getting used to. Somewhat frustrating. Anyway, oh, this level was a bit of a tricky one, but I think I remember how I did it. I think. Like I said, there's probably more than one way of doing these levels. Here we get on to the repetition. This has got... This game has got the kind of modern, challenging platformer, lots of restarting mechanic thing going on. And yeah, I find... I find this irritating in games. I don't mind difficulty, but I just find it frustrating to have been sent back to the beginning all the time. Oh, I can't remember how I did this level. Was it this? Was it this? There you, are. There you go, it was that. That one took a lot of trial and error to get. Yeah, um, watching me play through these levels is probably going to spoil the game. Um, if this looks like a game that you want to play, maybe you should just turn the video off now and then, you know, Go and play it. Because otherwise, I'm just giving the solutions to every level, I've just realised. How do you review puzzle games without just giving it away? Anyway. Let's carry on. Oh, this is another tricky level. I can't remember how I did this one either. Yeah, it helps if you jump on that bit first. Yeah, this is this level is where we get to grips with how awkward the, um, the spikes are. There's a way to throw it so that... No, that's not how to do it. There is a way to throw it so that it sticks onto the spikes and you can kind of land safely. Now, what I think would be really, really helpful in this game... Oh, rather than just having a line showing you the initial trajectory, it would be so helpful to have a kind of an arc showing you where the shots are going to land. There isn't any way of adding momentum to the game. I was, for ages, I was jumping and then throwing, hoping that I'd, that would give it some extra lift. I don't know if that'd be something that'd be worth adding to the game, but I mean, a lot of games with throwing like this, your momentum usually gets added to the projectile that you throw. So that was, that'd be a nice addition to make, I think, besides letting you um, throw more <laughs> or recall your chewing gum somehow. I don't know. You can't really recall chewing gum. Then again, you can't really climb on top of chewing gum. So, you know, should we, should we really be worried too much about the realism in this game? I don't know. But, yeah, this is probably where I'm going to get stuck for this review because, um, I can't even remember what I did. You see, here, having a trajectory indicator to show you where things are going to land would be so helpful. I think I have to do something like that. I feel like I have to throw it and then land. No. No. The collision detection, it does get quite... <laughs> it kind of feels like you just need to get... It just feels like you need to try kind of get lucky after a while. So as you can see, what am I on now? Level 13? And I've started to hit the wall. Not sure what happened there. Oh, I can't remember how I did this at all. Let's try that again. I'm sure there's some way of doing it with these spikes. No. You need, yeah. The collision detection does take a little bit of getting used to. 
I'm not sure you can entirely get used to it. It's a little bit on the um, on the janky side. But no, <laughs> that's gonna restart. There's no point even doing that. So yeah, the puzzleness it does get dialed up at some point, and you are gonna get stuck. And you might find that frustrating. You might not. But there you go. That's the puzzle platformer for you. No, that didn't do it. Oh, what did I do on this level? <laughs> you can see how consistent I've um, I've got this. How consistently I've got this level. I kind of wish now. Oh, I remember what I did. I kind of wish I'd deleted my um, save file where I got where I cheated my way up to level 26. Anyway, I think I think I remember what I did now. Possibly. There we go, I think this is what I did. Let's see if I can not screw up falling down through the spikes. There we go! You're probably screaming the answer at the screen. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, what do we need to do here? Now, yeah, there are 32 levels and... I think a few of the levels are a little bit on the, um... On the repetitive side. It kind of... I kind of, it kind of feels like there should be more tricks that I need to learn for maybe. A lot of levels, I mean, there, firing the ball at the spikes, that's a new thing, kind of. But yeah, there's quite a few levels with very similar solutions, but, I don't know, 32 levels? Can't really complain too much, can I? <laughs> now, as we get into levels with more objects, more chewing gum, it becomes a lot harder planning out your route. Oh, I cannot remember how to do this one. Now, this is a good example actually of what I'm talking about with the trajectory. You can see the angle that he's going to throw it at. I want to kind of hit the uh, wall kind of leading up to the, the flag. Now, it gets quite hard guessing, and it is just a guess, it's quite hard guessing where the things are going to land. And as you can see, you just need to do try and error to find just the right part to launch from. Like so. I think a trajectory display would really, really help. Oh no! I have to do that again now. That might be too high. You see, this is another thing you see. You get to a point where the um, the try and errorness comes in so that you have to attempt. You have to do, attempt the difficult throw at the first part. You have to do something in the middle that might not work, and then, yeah, as you can see, I have to just do it again. If only you could just recall or move the things once you place them. Anyway, let's try and do this. Let's try and do this level before. That's probably still too high, isn't it? Let's try a bit further away. I'm gonna try and line myself up with the pixels. That feel like that, that feels like that was just the same. Graphics-wise, lots to enjoy in this game. Lots of nice animation. I love the character design as well. Look at him, look at the little animation when we can't see there, but the animation when he's just chewing the gum. I think that's pretty good. Now, I think there is some sub-pixel movement going on here because I have been at very different angles and managed to get over that. So yeah, there really needs to be a there really needs to be a trajectory display on this. I don't think can't imagine it would be that hard to add. I don't know. <laughs> no! Oh! You're going to be restarting a lot in this game. Right, that might be alright. I don't know how accurate that throw actually is. I get the fit. I get the feeling that... It's different... I'm well forward from where I was in the last one there. There's definitely some pixel movement here, isn't there? Just to add an extra level of complication to things. Now why didn't I hit... Why am I not hitting the spikes there? I'm not going to complain. But, yeah. Oh, you can't. That was close. You can't jump 
up through spikes. Oh, you can't, not spikes. You can't jump up through spikes. You can't jump up through your bubble gum. That's very frustrating. You see? You bump your head. So, um, don't make that mistake. Now, actually, I did that in a different way the first time. I can remember doing that differently. Here, you see. I need to get this first throw right. Otherwise, I'm going to have to restart the level and do those first two throws again. That was okay. Oh, we're doing well. This is good. That might be a bit high. Let's see. No, I'm okay. There we go. Cool, level 17. Getting very close to where I got stuck last time, actually. Anyway, you can play this game. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play try and play through the rest of this because the 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 video will be an hour long and I'll just be repeating myself. If you wanna play this game, you can play it on itch. The link is down below. You can play it on Splore by going on Splore. Follow the developer Hiko over on Twitter. He's made several other Pico 8 games. You can check them out on his itch page. Um, and yeah, great game. Go and check out all this cool stuff to play. I'm going to try and get through the rest of this game. I might get stuck and frustrated though. We'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon.